Hi, my name is Elena Castro. I'm a medical oncologist at Hospital Universitario Virgen de la Victoria in Málaga, Spain. In the last decade, um, several studies have um, depicted the genomic landscape of advanced prostate cancer and different therapies are being developed to target those pathways more frequently altered in prostate cancer. So from now on, we will need to um, analyze the tumors of our patients to see whether these present uh, any of those targets and learn if our patients could benefit from, from these uh, new therapies. So um, in my presentation, I just gave some tips to the clinicians to select who are the patients who should be tested, which could be the best samples to test, and when is the right time to perform these studies. Well, I believe the regulator has just uh, looked at the same data from two different angles. So the European regulator um, has said, okay, the data is very strong for BRC1 and BRC2, and therefore I approve the use of Olapari for these patients, but not for the others, because uh, I would like to see more data before I approve the drug in that setting. Um, on the contrary, the FDA has seen it's the, the, the data are, are very strong for patients with BRC1 and BRC2 alterations, but they may also be patients with less frequent alterations who may benefit from, from all apparatus. So uh, I'm going to be permissive and allow the treatment of all patients with any of these alterations. Right, the studies with AKT inhibitors are being de developed and are very promising. It is true that the number of patients with alterations in the AKT gene um, is small. However, patients with alterations in other genes of the same pathway, such as P10, are significantly higher. Up to 40% of patients uh, can present alterations in, in, in P10, P10 losses. And um, ipatacertive has already demonstrated to improve the uh, radiographic progression-free survival in all those patients when given in combination with uh, abiraterone. And we are still waiting to see the results for overall survival and for the approval of, of these therapies. So at the moment, I will wait until we have those data, but definitely they are very promising. Yes, there are different um, uh, ctDNA assays uh, commercially available that uh, can be used to assess the presence of uh, mutations or other type of alterations that may be relevant for the management of prostate cancer patients. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't have it, um, it, it is not reimbursed by the national health system in Spain, so I don't have that available in my center outside uh, clinical trials, but those assays are there and may be, um, uh, may be useful for uh, people working in other centers. 